Warabo is one of the few villages on the island of Flores, Indonesia, where traditional Mangarai houses can still be seen. In 2008, a group of young architects from Jakarta went on a field trip to the village to fill a gap in their education. When I go to school, what we learn is about the modern structure, the concrete, the steel, but we never learn about this kind of building. We must to keep this living culture with the houses because there's a lot of things that we can learn from this kind of buildings, like how we adapt with the climates. That's what the most important thing. Five stories in height, the houses are built around a core structure of warrock wood. The thatched skin is supported by a lightweight bamboo framework held together by ropes. The structure is designed to be renewed every few years using materials harvested from the forest. But by 2008, when the architects made their expedition to the village, the houses were in steep decline. Three of Warabo's seven original houses had collapsed and two of the remaining ones were in a state of advanced decay. Concerned by the disappearance of their heritage, the young architects began a campaign to rehabilitate the village. We find the donors, uh, mostly uh, clients. We explain that this architecture is very precious for our country. So we convince them uh, to donor to the houses, fostering houses. And then we directly connect with the uh, local people. We ask them what do they want about uh, their environment and uh, their houses. After that, we send the students to make full documentation of construction progress. And we hope we can uh, develop more from these documentations. The first stage was halting the decline of the existing four houses. The second phase saw the reconstruction of the three that had fallen down. The villagers were encouraged to drive the process themselves, relearning forgotten skills as they worked. <laughs> Bapak 